Hello, my loves. Rebecca here. Welcome back to another British Monroe Design Team layout. Today, we're going to play with chroma glaze and candy coat, and also this beautiful slimline stencil, the teacup pattern stencil. So I'm actually not going to run either one of these mediums through this. I'm going to create my background using this, these two items, and then I'm going to make um, use just some distress ink and stuff like that and create some teacups for embellishments, right? Because um, we're going to do a work photo. This is my friend at work. <laughs> Um, this is in one of our warehouses and he was spy vesting, whatever, but he was mopping the warehouse floor and I found that to be very funny. So he posed silly for me and I took a picture. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. So we are going to just grab us a light piece of cardstock. I've got to find my sponges. Give me one minute and I'll be right back. All right, I didn't find sponges, but I found wax paper. So that's what we're going to do. And I've got coral. Uh, coral chroma glaze and teal candy coat. I apologize for the band-aid. Um, I was cutting banners and I not only cut the paper, but my finger as well. Okay. So we're just gonna squish that right in there. And then I'm gonna make a very, very fun <clears throat> textured background. Just by squishing down onto the paper. So I hope you can see that. And then we're just going to kind of come in, make some bigger peaks okay so this one we're just gonna maybe kind of try to wipe that off now this is gonna take quite some time to dry so this one I'm gonna that's not gonna fit in there We are just going to crunch it up. And then we're going to get some out. Now remember, Candy Coat has the big chunks of glitter. And we're just going to. We are going off the page as well because I want it to run off. So Something kind of like that. I'm going to come back in with some more pink. Just wanted to get the candy coat on. Or not pink, I'm sorry, coral. Okay. 
grab our coral um, packaging. And we're just going to come in and just kind of fill out some more of these areas. I'm, gonna, I'm filling the whole page. I don't know if you guys were. So. I'm just being careful to try not to get any of the. So this is a. I'm uh, trying not to get any of the blue in the. This is a fun technique if you're making like a beach layout. Because then it's the sand. Mine's just a swirly, swirly little pattern going through there. So it's going to take a minute to dry, but it won't take that long because, you know, some of it's real thin and some of it's thicker. But look how cool that's going to look. And it's going to have super dimension when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. I'm going to clean all this off my hands and everything. And when it's dry, we'll come back and we'll get that photo and I'm going to place it somewhere in here, I think. But stay tuned. All right, you guys, my background is done. Look at how pretty that is. And then you've got the big chunks of glitter all throughout the candy coat. So I just wanted to show you that now that it's dry. There are kids outside riding motorcycles, so I want to apologize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stencil and I'm going to outline the stencil. Just kind of finds me. I'm going to use one of my... Whoa. So they're going to come by. We're just going to carefully use the stencil like a stencil. I will apologize for the outside noise. They're just driving around the block on what I think is go-karts. So we're going to do one. Oops. Okay. And we're going to flip it and we're going to go reverse too because I want them to go in all different patterns, right? And we're going to create um, a stack of teacups going up the page. And actually what I'm thinking is I should just bring that in, right? So we're just going to do that. So I'm going to retrace everything and make those handles connect so that they're not like this. But I am going to color it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put a pattern. Because it's going to fit. You just got to find out. Like this one. I'm going to go here and then we're just going to stencil in black and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a little bit of color to each one. So I'm thinking why I'm doing this because apparently it takes a lot of my concentration to do this. But yeah, we're just going to color it with some watercolor pins. Nothing special. Not even pins, just watercolors. And then we're going to move this one down here. So then we have that pattern. And then, you know, we're going to so I'm going to go ahead and do a whole bunch of these to create a stacked effect. And to be honest, I might even actually do it stacked, okay? So I might just 
put this first one like this. crazy as that is I've changed my mind and then I'm just gonna come in and then we'll connect it and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna go Kind of like it's sitting in here like this, right? So we're just going to create the stacked layered effect that I was looking for. So that it, you can see it's just sitting in there. So this is another way to use stencils. Not only tracing, but creating a fun... fun little layout, right? And this is going to be cut out and stuck on our background. Now this could have just been the background. That would have actually been pretty cool to just have this drawn all the way up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that because I've already taken up a lot of time. So I'm going to create that all the way up. I'm going to come in and color it and then I'm going to fussy cut it out and get it on the layout. So one minute. All right, so I went ahead and backed this whole thing. I took an inch off each side and backed it on some brown car, um, cardstock. We have our fun little element. I just colored them with some markers and pins. And I think it turned out so super cute. So I'm going to take just a few of the coffee embellishments that we have going on over here. Sticker-wise. And kind of get them stuck on here as well. So lots of mixed media. I am going to go ahead and add extra adhesive. I'm just going to bring that right here like it's a little barista shop. And what else do we have? Mostly word bits. But I do like the... Little things like coffee before talkie. That's a hundred percent something that he would have said to me. I'm just gonna kind of peek those in and around. I'll go ahead and pop that right down there as the title to kind of bring it all together. That one's stuck there. Now what else can we add? This one says first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. stuck on there and I'm telling you guys I love it let's take a little bit of a gold pin and I'm gonna, whoa I just broke my gold pin hmm, that was fun I'm gonna do some sketchy lines that pin doesn't really work G2 never lets me down, do ya, G2 gel pen. Perfect. I'm just off camera, so I apologize for that. The key is to not push real hard. If you push hard, it doesn't work right. And we're just going to write just 
Jessica's name on there. And that is going to do it for today's layout. So please go get yourself some chroma glaze and some candy coat and this beautiful stencil that I created all that with. And have yourself a ball creating all kinds of fun little stacked teacups, right? Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Don't forget to head over to the Bruce Monroe website. Grab this stuff. Give us thumbs up. Give us likes. Share your comments, concerns, and share your work. I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.